Well, hey guys, hi, Brent, AbeltWebTennis.com, and what I've got for you today is a little chalk talk, a little strategy session here on uh, one of the reasons we want to use the I formation in doubles from time to time, and that is when the returner, this player right here, uh, is consistently taking the serve, uh, and the server is trying to play serve and volley, and what's happening is the return is going right back down here to the feet or a low volley the returner's partner now moves in and then this becomes a tricky shot for the server right this transitional shot from this area in the court because you've got this returner's partner just looming right here in directly in front of that server and so to eliminate that what we're going to do is we're going to go into an I formation, and that is going to be with the server starting more right next to the center hash mark as they would in singles, and the server's partner straddling, literally straddling the center service line here, obviously crouching down. And what I like to see is that the serve tries to go to the body, right, as much as possible, or slightly out here towards the alley uh, because what we're trying to do is we're trying to get the returner to play their return back here and uh, you know the server might just play baseline uh, after the serve or they might come in but but the but the thing here is that now the returners partner is not looming directly in front of this servers transitional shot and the reason I say that we want to sort of serve to the body or out here as opposed to maybe down the uh, down the tee, is that now the returner, if uh, they get a, a good crack at it, well, they've now got a, some pretty good geometry to really be able to hit a what is technically a cross court stroke technique on that shot, and uh, and really take the server out wide. So uh, here's here's what I want you thinking about: if you're the server's partner. As soon as that serve goes in, you're going to throw in a one-step fake poach. One step meaning that you're not taking both feet and coming all the way out here. You're, <clears throat> excuse me, you're just taking one step, moving here, and then coming back. And the reason for that is a little bit of a visual distraction uh, that this returner has to deal with. And sometimes what happens is stroke technique from them when they're visually distracted with the fake Either they buy the fake and they'll play it right back to you, not not bad, or they see it's a fake, but because they're seeing it, they're being visually distracted, and now what happens is their stroke technique slows down enough, even if they get it back here, this is a much easier ball for your partner, the server, to play. So guys, write down below if you have any questions or any comments, I would love to read them and respond to them. And as always, that's right, it's time. you got to get out there today and help someone else. Have a spectacular day.